Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. It is um, Monday, September the 16th, 2013, and I'm making this video to share a few thoughts with you guys. Um, this is not just for my subscribers, but for anyone in the entire world that may happen upon this video. Um, it's just I've been doing a lot of thinking the last day or two about kindness. Now, a lot of people will lead you to believe that kindness is something that's become obsolete because of all these mass shootings, all these um, murders, homicides, um, all this um, horrible, horrible stuff that you so see on the news um, these days. And you can't deny that indeed going on, um, unfortunately. But, I got to thinking, you know, we can change this. Sure, there, there, are, there are bad people out there. That doesn't mean there's not any good people. I want all of you watching this video to think about this. Think about how easy it simply is to tell somebody that you care about them. Just simply go up to, to anybody in your family or any of your friends and just tell them, I'm thinking about you, I'm care, I care about you, and I'm praying for you. Now that's a very, very simple thing to do. Um, and it makes you feel very good inside as well. Um, what got me thinking about this was yesterday after church, I I came home and got on my laptop to browse around the internet, and I came across these websites, several websites actually, um, all about kindness and pretty much websites that report nothing but happy news. By that I mean stories about good people doing good things for people. One of the websites, in fact I got it up here on my computer right now, is called SunnySkies.com and the skies is spelled with a Z at the end, um, just for clarification. Um, it's pretty much, it pretty much um, tells you, um, like, news that's happy, um, recent stories, inspirational stories, videos, pictures, even jokes. Like, let me, um, let me pull up just a random one here. Uh, uh, let's see, what's a good one here? Like, um, an unexpected act of kindness changing the life of a man in need of a transplant. Um, an, an unexpected act of kindness is about to change the life of an Evansville man, uh, I'm not sure where that is, in need, of an, in need of an organ transplant. Thanks to social media and a surprise donor, a transplant is coming much sooner than he and his family expected. They say it's better to give than to receive, but for Mitch Petty and Charlie Bockelman, it feels pretty good both ways. Now, um, you can read the article yourself, but basically it's, um, if I get the, from the gist I'm getting of it, um, a, a very, um, selfless person must have given a, a very important organ to a person who desperately needed one, and which I think is amazing, and it, I just read another headline here, a nine-year-old football fan gave away an autographed football to a boy in a wheelchair. Now, that kind of reminds me of something else here. Um, children. We, we think that the, the general consensus is that children are idiots. They're rude, thoughtless, selfish, and need to be constantly disciplined and punished. Well, it's important to discipline your children. Um, I'm a firm believe, believer in that. Raise them the right way. There are a lot of children and also teenagers. That's something else um, 
you know, teenagers, um, we th people think of them as um, as rebellious, um, vulgar um, people that that want to be horrible to their parents and everything, but that's not exactly true. Um, there are a lot of good children and a lot of good ch teenagers out there who are doing a lot to help our um, help the world that God has blessed us with. I um I can't think of any of them off the top of my head right now, but um oh yeah I um I did re read this one um, article online yesterday. Um, it was about a nine-year-old girl um who um who just started school and she um noticed there was this um this boy in class who was overweight and was very shy but was always getting picked on and bullied by other people in the class including the teacher which is very very sad unfortunately now um this um nine-year-old girl um i don't know her name she she did not like the way that that boy was being picked on and so um her and her mother devised a plan to um get school supplies for this um, poor boy because his family unfortunately could not afford school supplies. So her and her mother went out and bought school supplies and well they they gave that boy the school supplies he needed and I think that's just outstanding that there are very very good children out there and actually that goes for pretty much anyone of any age of any gender. And, you know, um, like I said, we, we always focus on the bad in the world. But there's a lot of good in it as well. And we need to, to work on highlight, highlighting the good parts of our society. And I, and I want to give all of you a challenge. Within the next week, of you watching this video, I want you to go out and the first person you see, tell them that you care about them. And I mean that. It all starts with that. I know, um, as a lot of you may know, I've unfortunately been the victim of cyberbullying over the past couple of years. I'm not going to go into detail on that, but um, they've done stuff like impersonated me on my YouTube and even on Facebook. And they've even hacked into my email account. But you know what? Um, For those people that have been trying to attack me um, lately, I just want to say that I care about you and I really want you to, um, well, see the, the error of your ways and I, pr and I pray that, that God will help you see the error of your ways because you know, um, Jesus specifically said to love our enemies. Well, that's what I think all of us should do. Um, not just me, but if, if someone's treating you badly, don't retaliate with hate. Don't send them hate back. When someone hates you, reply with love. I know a lot of you watching this video will probably um, just ignore it. I know I'll probably get a lot of hateful comments on this video as well. But I do want you to just consider what I have said in this in the past 10 minutes. I just think the the best thing anyone can do in their entire life is to do something nice for someone else. It doesn't have to be something big. But just 
let someone know that they're special and that they're wonderful in their own amazing way. So I just hope all of you who watch this will take these thoughts into heart. And for now, this is Billy Corr signing off on September the 16th, 2013. Good night, everybody.